Cindy Sheehan with us for another uh, 22 minutes or so. I want to go to Saeed, Ian, Aaron, Jonathan, Morgan, and many others here in just a moment. Cindy, you got cut off a couple breaks ago, and, and you were about to get to a story uh, dealing with the whole left-right uh, paradigm and how they were trying to buy you off and how the Democrats you know, wanted you to just go quietly into the night, and we hit that break. I mean, that is such an important point here that we've gone from these self-righteous Democrats are going to end this war, right. and, and now Rahm Emanuel and his brother, he's now calling the big Hollywood mogul in the news right, today, right. Arrogantly brags, oh, look at how I suckered the Democrats and how they really kept anti-war Democrats from winning. Oh, absolutely. Rahm Emanuel, one, one case in point is Christine Segalis in Illinois. She ran against Henry Hyde as a Democrat in 2004 and almost won. She wanted to run again, but she was absolutely anti-war. So Rahm flew in Tammy Duckworth, a disabled Iraq veteran, to run against her, beat Segalis in the primaries, but she was beaten by the Republicans. Republican. So, and then the D Triple C dumped a lot of money into Tammy Duckworth's, um, you know, campaign to to um, beat Christine Segalis, who would have been an anti-war Democrat. So, the Democrats uh, used and betrayed the anti-war movement to get in power. And Democrats told me to my face, Alex, many of them on Capitol Hill, if you get us in power, if you help get us in power, Cindy, because they knew the energy of my movement was powerful. They knew that their base was anti-war. They, their base wasn't just anti-Bush. Their base was anti-war. So they abused the energy of the anti-war movement, betrayed it, got into power, and did nothing. And then uh, after they were in power in 2007, you know what those same people told me? Help us elect more Democrats, Cindy. And that's when I said, oh, this is just, this is just bull crap. You know, it's, it's gonna, they're never gonna be happy unless it's 100% Democratic, democratically controlled, which I think is tyranny. You know, I think that, uh, uh, of, Even if the two parties absolutely. are almost completely controlled, well, only think, having a one party, then you really are in trouble. I, I think that it's it, the more parties, the uh, more healthy our democracy would be. Our democracy is sick. Our democracy is on life support right now because of the corporate control of both of the parties. Barack Obama and Ron, I mean Barack Obama and I almost said Rahm Emanuel and John McCain. You know they got money from the same people. So whoever won the election in two thousand and eight the robber class would win and we would lose no matter who won we lost even if you voted for the candidate that won i hate to tell you this but you lost cindy sheehan what do you see happening to our republic in the future you know we're going to go through some very tough economic times unfortunately i don't think it's going to um get any better until it gets a lot worse and and if it does get better then what is our country going to look like is it going to be uh, looking like 1984 a brave new world or is it going to look like um a country that is broken up into smaller pieces which i think would be better would be more manageable is that is that going to happen with violence is it going to happen uh, um peace of peacefully you know i really don't know but that, that's why I'm out on tour, Alex. I have three surviving children, a, a one grandchild, he's one year old, and one on the way. And I could take my kids, and I could practice what I know. You know, we could start start our own little community that's self-sustaining, you know, off the grid and things like that. But I want to go around the country, and I want to encourage people to work together to 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 thrive through the the coming collapse of the empire i'm glad the empire is collapsing it's collapsing because the the people running it are right. so greedy right they're they're eating themselves right. they're destroying the goose that laid all these eggs because their nature is just hyper corrupt we could voluntarily give it up um as uh, the robber class could voluntarily give up the empire, but that's not going to happen. Like you said, they're so greedy. They're so greedy, they don't care what's going to happen with their children and grandchildren. I care about their children and grandchildren as well as I care about my children and grandchildren. So we have to create these communities to be able to survive. I want to go to calls, but briefly, tell me more about your idea, because I, I think true diversity. I I'm not against the Free State Project, but everybody going to one state uh, you know, that's a decent idea because I guess they can try to take the state 
back over and you know have kind of a libertarian idea that's wonderful but i think it's better just to have lots of true diverse ideas lots of communities everywhere right. to be examples to others right uh and, and and all sorts of true diversity true liberty right uh you know out there and and you know, to defeat the globalists, they can always go after one state or one group or one idea or one leader. Right. But if we have the opposite of the cookie cutter, all of this, uh, the words diversity again, mm -hmm. going in different angles and directions, right, right. there's no way for them to compute, no way for them to counter, no way right. for them to demonize, no way for them to set up. Mm -hmm. And if good people will just stop looking for leaders, even Cindy Sheen or Alex Jones or Ron Paul, but look to themselves to start something now. Just do it, as they say. Start taking action in some way. Doesn't mean you have all the answers. Doesn't mean you're perfect. Doesn't mean you're going to do it all right. right. But at least you're standing up. And doing something. And, and that's my whole premise is that it it's not as effective for one person or a couple of people to do a lot. It's more effective for everybody to do something. And then working together, uh, community based. And you know, uh, you know as well as I, that in the summer of 2005, you know, not only was our movement co-opted, but I was also set up, right? I was set up because they saw when I was going to start start um, retaining my integrity and speaking out against the policies and and the the principles instead of just George Bush that they had to you know what the favorite the favorite slur from the so-called left is to me I'm too radical so they don't have to they don't have to listen to me because I'm an extremist so they tried to make me look crazy they tried to make me look uh, you know mentally unstable because of my son's death you know irrational and and that was as much a, the left as it was the right because the media is just part of the robber class and and like I said there's no left right or Democratic Republican paradigm look at the the media is giving Obama practically a free pass they haven't covered me and my opposition to Obama, but when I went down to Dallas the other day, we were everywhere pro um, in the news about our protests against George Bush. Why is that? Because they want to make it a left-right issue. They want to have it the liberal Sheehan is against Bush to remind folks it's the bad Bush. Right. They don't want to show you going up against Obama and, ex and shattering that left-right paradigm. Yeah, tell folks briefly what happened with Bush. And when we were down there yeah, in, in Dallas. Dallas, well, we we had about a hundred people just marched uh, for accountability, and we had about twelve pro Bush people on the other side of the street. I thought that was very interesting because it was in his neighborhood, and only twelve of his neighbors came out. But we we got a lot of press coverage from that, and it was it was good press coverage because they said accountability. They said Cindy Sheehan and the people with her want um, a special prosecutor. They actually did cover what we were saying instead of, you know, the style, they were covering the substance, which I was very surprised about, especially being in Dallas. Well, I mean, that is a positive thing, and I think that's because a lot of the media internally are upset. A lot of them are moral. They're just told what to say and what right. to do. Uh, and, and more and more as they say no, and more and more as they do little things to get the truth out, I think that's what's going to bring them down. Well, and I do want to, did, did I say it on the air? Did I tell you when we were off the air that my radio show is going to be on in Dallas? Yeah, you were telling me it's, it's Sundays, and I, I give us the website for your... It, um, the, the radio show's in Dallas, Sunday at 3 on Rational Radio, that's AM 1360. And then my um, show can also be heard on the internet at com, And people can order a copy of my book, Myth America, from com. It's just for a minimum ten dollar donation i got i got um several orders last night after i was on jason's show so i appreciate it oh good people need to support you folks yeah. and that's what this is about if you want to see cindy be able to keep going around the country pointing out the hypocrisy of obama and the republicans then go to uh the website and and, and get this great ebook and, and show it to your friends and family and, and also tell folks about our radio show again plug the website again cindy sheehan soapbox.com cindy sheehan soapbox.com and how many pages is the book the book is about 100 pages. It's it's just a, a pamphlet, really. It's a manifesto. No, but that's great. People yeah. should people should print that off and, and, and give it to their establishment liberal friends and well, go. That's what I'm saying. Once I send you the PDF, I don't care what you do with it. You can you can send it to your establishment, liberal or conservative friends. You know, the, the people who support the status quo are supporting the same thing, no matter what they call each other, right? No, it's disgusting. But but you know, this is the process of that paradigm collapsing. 
and, and, and more and more the left right paradigm. Everybody I talk to is sick of it. So I, I think people are starting to get it. Let's uh, take some phone calls here. Uh, let's talk uh, to uh, Saeed in Illinois. Thanks for holding the last hour, sir. Had a lot of guests on. Go ahead. 